Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about role play games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we went on down to the detention center because our newest client, or I guess he's not our client yet, but he'll probably be soon, Miles Edgeworth, the prosecutor from the previous two cases, has gotten arrested on suspect for murder here at Gord Lake, and so today we're going to go ahead and go deeper into the park and See if we can find anything to prove his innocence. Let's head to Gord Lake. December 25th, Gord Lake Public Beach. Wowzers, this is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai Dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. <laughs> the trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. This sign right here. Oh, I almost didn't see that signpost. Left boat docks, right exit. Samurai dogs. A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half baked. The banner reads Samurai dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Say, Nick. Why is it called Gourd Lake? Oh. A long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually. But that's just a coincidence. Oh. Okay. A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya, if she had a samurai dog. Huh, someone left one of these poppers here. You know, you pull the string, and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey Nick, it might be a clue. Let's take it. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop it, right? Was it that obvious? A popper. Hmm. Let's go ahead and take it. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket. First piece of evidence for the final case. Gord Lake Woods. December 25th, Gord Lake Woods. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've, they've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. All three of my stomachs are already filled. I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum then. I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> Phoenix is real snarky this chapter. Or not chapter, this case. The sign says, no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. <laughs> Wait, what if the sign said, no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. <laughs> There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. This camera is a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick. 
Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken? Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? I know. A party popper? Yep, it responded. Okay, hold on one second. Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! I can't do a southern voice. Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! There we go. Eek! What in the Sam Hill? Look what you done now! There goes a whole roll of film! Ah? Uh, what? Huh? S sorry. Sorry's nice, but it don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much roll film costs? Uh, I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking setting off a potty pop in this place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. I say those other folks with their exaggerated draw, they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you this. Just because I'm dumb don't mean we all are. Nick, help. Who are you now? Her chaperone? Y yeah, uh, no. Rather, uh, we're sort of... Just figure out what y'all are going to say and say it for Jesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Pop's draw than listen to you stutter all day. Oh, boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. What a character. This is, uh... Oh, she didn't say her name yet, so I'll go ahead and wait till she says her name. What happened? Um... What? Can't you see I'm changing my fil the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. S sorry. That didn't really work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Um, what? Can't you see I'm changing my... Okay. What we want to go ahead and do is show her our attorney's badge. For once, it's actually useful. Uh, one thing to note that I've noticed when I'm watching let's plays of this game and stuff like that is that sometimes the text will scroll really really slow and so it's really awkward to read it'll just be like instead of just being like I don't know what's a sentence like you couldn't have been at you you could have been at the murder scene it'll just be like you could have been at the murder scene and it's really weird Anyways, attorney's badge. I, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of those lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestle meaner looking things than you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place on, here on the lake. Murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too, y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry. It's, uh, no, uh, ugh. Hold on one second. I did Lada's voice for a second. Sorry, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can talk to Yank for you, for you if, <laughs> if it pleases you. Thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada Hart, but y'all can call me Lada. I'm here for photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mata, please meet ya. For some reason, when I was younger, I read the word photographing as pho photographing, and I'll read photographer as photographer, and so if you ever hear me pronounce those words wrong, just know it's because... When I was a kid, that's how I read them. And it's just, it hasn't left my brain since. <laughs> Anyways, let's actually talk to her. Oh yeah, what was that? When was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. Happened late last night, late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve? Man on the boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. 
I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. So what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do ya? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the Heartland. Wow, neat. Nick, he's a research student at a university. Country U. Uh, so I hear. So, so when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors. Yep, meteor showers. Falling stars? That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made. A genuine Solingen. Isn't that where they make knives? Fun fact, uh, that is actually a town, I think, in Germany uh, that's famous for making knives. So, cool fun fact of the day. Um, so what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? It started moving all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That triggered the stu shutter whenever it detects a certain sound. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A, prog a programmable camera. Neat. Lotta's camera added to the court record. And so that should be about it for now. We presented pretty much everything. Well, we presented our attorney's mat badge, examined pretty much everything, and talked to her. So let's head back on over here. December 25th, Police Department Criminal Affairs. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Something wrong, miss? Hmm? Turning yourself in? Okay, what'd you do? Shoplifting? Larceny? Public indecency? N no, none of those things. We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh yeah, he's in the meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. Okay, we'll come back. You do that. Oh, and go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting. You got that? Do I look like a criminal or something? I don't know what that voice was, because it started as like a southern thing. And it was a bit muffled, and I've never watched Gravity Falls, but I sounded like Seuss from Gravity Falls. I think that's his name. Anyways, Criminal Affairs Department. We've got this thing right here. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's Blue Badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I'll get him a shiny mascot of the Criminal Affairs Department if it's the last thing I do. Um, good luck. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gord Lake? Gordy shited? I don't believe it. Shouldn't you be reading something more important? Hey, I mean, watching through the news and watching all that Gordy stuff is what led us here to this case in the first place. A poster of a female police officer. Wait, now that's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. Whoop. <laughs> At this guy over here. He must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Your old mama could you know, she you know she'd be crying. Break and spit it out break and spit it out, you little life scumbag. Must be doing image training for interrogations. These are the detectives desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I'd expected. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. And yeah, that's about the same. So the detective Gumshoe's not here, so we're gonna go ahead and move back on over to Gord Lake real quick. Sorry if there are a couple of cuts. I'm using a different walkthrough than I normally do. And for those who uh, are just tuning into this series for some reason. I've already played through all these games. I'm just playing through these for you guys to see. 
Uh, and I'm using a different walkthrough than I normally do, and it's very confusing because it's going back and forth between a lot of places when you can just do a bunch of stuff in one go. Hold on. Okay, real quick. Lada? Yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises. Uh, yep. Uh, yuck. Actually, the victim in this case we're researching it was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey, y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. Would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once, don't remember if there was anything on them though. But what if I got something? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Gord Lake Public Beach. So hold on. Let's go over to the boat rental shop because we haven't gone there yet. December 25th, boat rental shop. Nick, what is this place? Boat rental shop, closed for Christmas it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't, won't be good for business either. Boats, I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go on one once we finish, once the trial is finished? Hey, good idea, you bet. There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of those boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Yeah, understandable. Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. It's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. Yeah, not much to do here. I think I might have to do something very specific. Okay, let me cut and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to go back here and then I have to go all the way back to the woods. It's a bit tedious. I guess the Detective Gumshoe is still not meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe, we just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're going to be, we're in for some bad news. And we'll have to learn about that bad news in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time we're going to go ahead and talk to Gumshoe, see what he has to say, and maybe we'll go back, see if Lotta has any photos, and see if there are any other witnesses that the police might have found. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>